now we are going to talk about how to create purchase order okay the first thing that we are going to discuss is creating a purchase order here so this topic we are going to cover create purchase order okay let's go to the system okay so if you notice this folder has already been included so i'll click double click on me 20 to 21 n okay so for every purchase order you want to create every technology needs a copy paste so i'll show you how to do a copy paste and create a purchase order okay because don't try to reinvent the wheel best thing is you copy paste and change it okay copy paste and edit is the mantra okay so here we are going to search what what type of purchase order is there okay so what you are going to do is we are going to click on other purchase order and we have a purchase order already created okay so we'll see so this 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 is a stock transport order okay let me see whether they have any other other type of purchase order so let's see so we are going to do by supplier plant and here if you notice let's see so this is this is also a stock transport order so we are going to create a stock transport order first okay so if you notice in the purchase order this is the type of document type okay now what we are going to do is we click on document overview on okay once we do that okay and we'll close this and here you click on per you click on this button we click on purchase order okay okay by default the purchase order that we selected is selected now we'll click on execute okay and now we'll click on create okay if you notice now it's a blank screen now what you have to do this is very tricky you click on it and you drag it the moment you do it okay all this thing all the documents that was there in that purchase order gets copied since it's a stock transport order it requires a supplying power plant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save it here so if you notice in the item you can see all the details that has been so this is this has a material doc material number okay so if i double click on the material it takes me to the material okay so if you notice this is an external number range okay the material okay so here now we are going to click on save okay now other portions let's cover some of the header header data that you that got copied okay the first important thing in a purchase order is a purchase organization the purchase organization is the place where it can be it can be said it can be specific to a plant or it can be one to many men or one to many with the plant okay then is the purchasing group generally it's just a buyer name and then you have the company code okay company code is important because that's the fi portion okay now here if you notice there can be partner information okay whether it's a now this is this is something for external vendor, not for internal so this is stock transport order is we are sending it the stock from one plant to another that's internal okay and then you have condition steps this this thing tells about the pricing information from the header side now if i go if you scroll down to the right you can see all the other information that is useful okay now and in the delivery invoice portion there is nothing required because this is a stock one now the communication is also important if this was an external window all these things would be filled up okay now click on save once we save you can see the stock transport order has been created so if you click on this sap by default stores the document that you just create so so here this covers everything about creating a purchase order here we copied from an existing purchase order and it was pretty easy to do it